Hi, have you gone through the process of onboarding a new executive only to find that they've left within the first three to six months? In this video, I'd like to share with you some ways of ensuring that your new hire is invested in your business and stays for the long term. My name is Jeff Wood. I'm a specialist senior executive recruiter for the Southeast Queensland and Northern New South Wales region. Sadly, onboarding a new senior executive or for that matter, any staff, is not always seen as important for a lot of companies. Companies feel that once they've actually secured their prize recruit, their job is done. This can be far from the truth, as the first few weeks of a new hire's role can be possibly the most important, as this really sets the tone for the way they view the business and, and also how they perform. A little known fact is for a new hire that leaves your business or employ within the first 12 months, it will actually cost your business two and a half times their annual salary. Not only is this very costly, but very frustrating, as you actually need to start the whole recruitment process all over again. The days of actually handing a new employee a guidebook as to the way the business operates and their code of conduct should be long gone. To really maximise the benefits of hiring a new employee, onboarding should be seen as the first step in a continuous process of training and support. Having a planned onboarding schedule ready for your new executive's commencement should be a priority to ensure a good start point. So many businesses start their new executive without any structure around their introduction to the business. Imagine turning up at an airport and getting on a plane only to find out the pilot has no idea what direction he is heading. It doesn't give the passengers too much confidence, does it? So always make sure you take the time to before your executive actually commences in the business to consider the schedule and plan it carefully. The other important I always like to recommend to my clients is that they choose a role model or a champion for their business, someone that the people look up to and admire and use this person who can assist in the onboarding process. I hope these tips have been valuable for you. I've created an onboarding template. If you would like a copy, just drop me a comment below and I'll send it straight to you. Have a great day.